This story is shocking so many people. A Harris County Correctional Officer in jail tonight, but not as an employee. He's accused of selling drugs to inmates in the facility. Deputies arrested the six year officer earlier today as he was arriving to work. Fox 26's Sherman Dizelle joining us live from downtown. He spoke with the sheriff about this. So Sherman, what did he tell you? Yeah, good evening, Rashi. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said that last week's arrest of an attorney involved in something similar was just the first of many more arrests to be expected. Here's what we know so far today. He announced 24-year-old Robert Robinson was arrested this morning. He's charged with a felony of engaging in organized criminal activity, introducing drugs into this facility. He's been relieved of duty. He is expected to appear in PC court. We actually were just told a second ago, actually, that he's not expected to appear in PC court. Court, but he faces two to 20 years in jail if convicted. Now, back in October, the sheriff says his internal affairs team uncovered evidence that one of their own detention officers was selling drugs inside. Detectives confirmed Robertson delivered K2. That's a synthetic marijuana and also regular marijuana in the jail as well as, well as other narcotics, including drug laced papers. It's not confirmed if those laced papers are connected to the recent arrest of a former attorney who was arrested for selling them to inmates. But the sheriff says this is significant because so many deaths in jail are related to drug overdoses. And I asked him specifically if he thought that this investigation would help to curtail that issue. Each successful uh, action that we can take, I think sends a, a loud message uh, that we're paying uh, close attention and that it's not gonna be tolerated and that there are consequences today. And it, we may not catch it today, but it may just be a matter of time. Also speaking today was the assistant district attorney, Kim Smith. She mentioned two other people's names are in the indictment. Both of them are convicted felons with a history of drug abuse. But she also says that more arrests are expected in this dangerous smuggling ring. Reporting from downtown Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.